Welcome to part two of Tully to Townsville. If you haven't checked out part one yet, go do that now. We had such a good week. We went white water rafting. We went to Mission Beach. Chris checked out Wallaman Falls and we visited Crystal Creek. This week, we finally make it to Townsville. <sighs> How long have we been driving today? Uh, Seven hours, eight hours. Eight hours, I think. Yeah, so I don't know. It seems to be tradition whenever we get into a new state, we have more electrical issues. So um, we're rocked up to Townsville today. Guess what? <sighs> the fridge fuse is blown again. This time it's kind of melted it. Yeah, we thought the fridge was getting warm pretty quickly, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so not only that, it's obviously stopped the, the car toy pin as well. <sighs> Look at that, it's like burnt through. It's the same one that we had the issue with last time. So we got that replaced, didn't we? Yeah, so this is a so new that's one. New. Yeah. So another call to another so auto electrician. Yeah, we're gonna have to find another auto electrician. Luckily we're in Townsville, there'll be plenty to choose from hopefully. But <laughs> it uh, should. Yeah, I'm too tired for this. <laughs> it's a tomorrow problem. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. Here we are at Townsville. <laughs> Yay, the capital city of North Queensland. And this place looks stunning. So we've got four nights here to check out as much as we can here at Townsville. We're gonna check out the city. We're gonna go over to Magnetic Island, which we have done before. In fact, we've been to Townsville before, but all we did is go to Magnetic Island and then leave. We didn't even check out any of Townsville. No, so as a result, we don't really know anything about Townsville itself, do yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. So I'm really looking forward just to checking out the city itself. Uh, we do have a trip to Magnetic Island though planned, we're going to mm -hmm. do that uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then I think we're going to go to Castle Hill as well. It's supposed to be amazing uh, views up there and maybe do sunset. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I mean, we've got four nights here, so mm. that's a decent amount of time. Although we mm. do have to arrange an auto electrician at some yeah, point I, as well. Yeah, again, very, very <laughs> frustrating. But, Hopefully um, for the last time. But. It, yeah, but I think it still leaves us with plenty of time to check out the city. Exactly, and I've seen these scooters scooting around everywhere. I really want to give it a try. So if we have time, Ooh. I reckon we hop ourselves on a scooter and do a few laps up and down the strand here. What do you Ooh, reckon? Maybe we give that a go now. Oh, that, oh. that'd be awesome. But yeah, here we are at Townsville. Let's go see what we can uh, check out, see what there is to do here, hey? On a scooter. Yeah, <laughs> on a scooter. We've hired scooters. I got the orange one, Hannah's got the purple one. Different companies, we thought we'd give them both a try. I've never really ridden a scooter before. Yeah, we've definitely never done the higher, the city higher scooter no, before, have we? No, the city higher scooter in Townsville, so. Ah. Archie wants to go. Yeah. We did have a go with Archie, but it's too difficult because he's pulling, so whichever hand you've got the lead in you naturally he's pulling so hard the scooter like turns the other way so we just we're not going anywhere we're just having a go for fun so um, so yeah so we've just tied Archie up and we're giving it a go Enjoy that. Yeah, I kind of want to go all the way down there. Ah. Hey, what do you reckon, Archie? You're not so impressed, are you? You just want to go and sniff things. I'm going to eat the grass. Yeah. We've come down to a dog beach here in Townsville just to take Archie off, cool him down a little bit, and then we're going to go check out some of the sights to see in town.
We've come up to Kissing Point Fort uh, here in Townsville. So this was a really important defence point for both Townsville and Australia for over a century, in fact, and was given back uh, to the people from the army, I think it was 1986. And so it's really interesting seeing sort of what a useful point it is. I mean, the views are spectacular. Yeah, the water looks amazing. Really so want to go for a swim. In terms of uh, observation, mm. you can really see how it was such a strategic place for uh, for Australia in times of war. Yeah, exactly. I still really want to go for a swim. Okay, yeah, starting to get a bit hot now. <laughs> let's uh, let's go cool down. Yeah. So we've just driven up uh, a place called Castle Hill. It's in the centre of Townsville and it's the highest point in Townsville offering some sensational views. Uh, funny thing about this is that it is classed the hill because it's huge. It's only a couple of metres short of being a mountain. But these are officially the best views we have seen on the trip so far. Have a look. It's pretty windy up here, but wow, look at these views. This is absolutely incredible. You can see Magnetic Island in the distance over there. Yeah, just a sensational spot. This is it's just incredible. What, a, what an incredible view. So there's a 260 meter summit loop track, which I'm just on to check out, like a 360 view around Castle Hill. Hannah's just at the lookout looking after Archie. It's pretty hot out here. So he's, you know, pretty hot for him as well. So the views here are just unbelievable. Look at this. Just so peaceful and quiet. Yeah, it feels so high up, it's unbelievable. 286 meters high it is above sea level. As I said earlier, only a couple of meters short of being a mountain. Poor thing. Hannah, this isn't our car. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is for the day. What? What? Are you, what? Yeah, today, this is our car. Why? We're here on Magnetic Island and we've hired a car for the day because it's a lot cheaper than taking your own car over. Yeah. So taking your own car over is over 200 bucks and uh, yeah, we didn't want to pay that. And we were going to do a bike ride, but it's really hot. So <laughs> this is actually... Well, it's, it's not just that it's hot. We kind of fancy taking our snorkel gear and yeah. for lunch. And, and the so, drone. So we've got yeah, a few we've, bags yeah, and stuff. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of gear. Yeah, but it's actually really good value because like the ferry over was going to be $40 return anyway each. So what's that? 80 bucks. Mm. And so for another $40, we get to hire a car for a day. Another so it's, $60. Oh, $60. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, well, anyway, it's still pretty good value. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to get in and cruise around Magnetic Island for the day and yep. find some nice spots, go for a swim, do some droning, feed yep, some animals. So. What else? Uh, relax. Relax. Maybe. Well, let's go see what we can find, eh? <laughs> okay. Our first stop on our Magnetic Island adventure is down here at Cockle Bay. So there is a shipwreck, the... SS City of Adelaide, it's called. 
So it used to be a ship that uh, transferred passengers from Sydney and Melbourne to Honolulu uh, and uh, overseas places. So, and then in 1912, I believe it was, it ran aground here. Uh, it had a fire on it and then kind of just drifted into Magnetic Island. So here it sits. Uh, and there's massive trees and things growing out of it, which is really cool. So I didn't know that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty high tide at the moment, so it's probably not the best time to go out and uh, do it, uh, get some drone footage. But we, we put it up anyway. Yeah, uh, low tide was at 3 a.m., so that wasn't a possibility. Yeah, we missed that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but it's still good. We saw it. It's pretty impressive. Uh, and a, yeah, really impressive shipwreck just off the coast of Cockle Bay here. Yeah. Mm, so here's some drone footage we took. Check it out. We've driven the 12 kilometres of unsealed road up to West Point, which is probably the quietest end of the island. Um, it's only accessible at the dry time of the year, otherwise there are quite a few dips which I think turn into quite deep water crossings. Um, it's a beautiful beach out here and the water is so clear. It's gorgeous and it's really quiet. There's a couple of boats out on the water and a jet ski and some people fishing a little bit further up but apart from that it's so quiet and um, I think we are going to go and check out the busier side of the island now and see what uh, what those bays have to offer. So we brought a picnic with us and um, we've got some rolls, cheese, Chris brought some salami, a bit of coleslaw um, but we got slightly distracted and Chris has just been to the fish and chip shop and got himself some chips. <laughs> chip rolls, can't be the chip roll. Mm. Just went for a swim here at Horseshoe Bay. What a stunning spot. The water is so warm. It's gotta be like 26 or 27 degrees. It's like taking a bath, it's amazing. And this beach, look at this beach. It's such a stunning spot. Um, so we've just taken a dip. I can't get Hannah out of the water. She's been swimming in there for ages. Here she is. Uh, hi, Hannah. Uh, she's been in there for like 45 minutes. I just can't get her out. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have a finish off the swim here, hopefully, and then uh, maybe do the boats walk. Uh, and there's a few other spots we wanna check out on this magnificent, magnetic island, such a stunning spot. What's the plan of attack, Anne? Okay, we're going to do a walk. So we are going to do the Forts Walk, which is the most popular of all of the walks here on Magnetic Island. 
Um, it's basically a walk that kind of takes you back in time through various World War II uh, remnants and why Magnetic um, Island was so important in terms of the defence. So um, I think it's, what is it, about four kilometres? Yeah, four, yeah, two each way, that's right. So it's pretty hot. Unfortunately, we, we both forgot our hats, so uh, we slapped on loads of Factor 50 sun cream, and that will have to do. All right, well, let's get started and uh, let's get it done before it gets really hot, huh? Any yeah. hotter? Yeah. A little bunker. Trying to get the explosives. Oh, really? Yeah. Because of its location, Magnetic Island was used as like a defense island for the mainland. Uh, so, scattered around these islands are these massive gun turrets. Have a look at this. So these guns could rotate 360 degrees and had an accuracy or a range, sorry, of 18.3 kilometers. Uh, and they were extremely accurate. So generally they were chained, uh, chained into position and they could move around 360 degrees and manned by 15 people. Where did these guns go? It's actually a mystery. No one really knows what happened to them. Uh, it's suspected that once the army had finished with them, the US troops came and dismantled them, took them away and uh, disposed of them in the water somewhere. So the theory is that they're in a watery grave somewhere off the island, but the real reason actually no one really knows still to this day. Holes are really hot. All right, we made it to the top, top of Magnetic Island. Here is the signaling post. Uh, so I had to climb a few ladders to get up here. Uh, spectacular views though. It's, it's no wonder why they use this as like a defense island for the mainland and planted guns everywhere and put lookout forts everywhere. The command post, which I was at earlier, is just over here. You might be able to see it in the distance there. So it's just over there. So just the, the views of this place are incredible. You can see for miles. Look at that. Yeah, just a really, really fascinating place. Like the island is just beautiful on its own and has amazing beaches and awesome spots to see, but all this World War II history just brings it to another level. It's really, really interesting. But anyway, I think I might stay up here for a few minutes and then uh, make my way back down, find Hannah, Hannah along the way.
Cheers. A well deserved drink. Oh, yeah. Mm. Still love that Matto ginger beer. Yeah. Been a pretty big day today, isn't it? Yes, yeah, especially the Forts walk. Yeah, that was really tough. Really? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that long, but it was so hot. Yeah, and quite steep as well. Yeah, it was. So we're just kicking back at the end of the day, having a drink. Yeah, so it's what, quarter past four in the afternoon. Mm. So we've been here pretty much all day. Yeah, we've yeah, exactly. We've managed to get some walking done. Done a bit of swimming. swimming. Got some amazing drone footage, mm. which is really good because I haven't really been able to use that for a while. Uh, and this place is just awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's an yeah, amazing, it's really good. such an awesome place, full of history and just amazing beaches and yeah. just an awesome place. We popped in at the bungalows that we stayed ten uh, years yeah. ago when we were yeah. last here, just yeah. to remind ourselves. Yeah, of that twelve was, years ago. In fact, yeah, it was yeah. So, it's developed so much since twelve yeah. years ago. It's crazy. But, yeah, it's um, really quite different. Yeah, but yeah, awesome spot. We're just next to the pool, finding it hard not to just jump in to be honest it's, well, it's very it's, it's even got a waterfall you might be able to hear it but uh but our caravan park um back in townsville has a swimming pool so yeah. we might have a dip when, when we, we get, get back. back yeah when we get back pick up archie yeah go for a swim and then just uh chill out for the rest of the evening i think yeah so archie's been with the dog sister all day mm. uh, she's sent over a few photos throughout the day he looks to be having a great time yep yeah he does so <laughs> there's he's with uh a few of the dogs, I think there's a Cocker Spaniel, a Kelpie Collie Cross, a Kelpie, um, and then some kids as well. So. Yeah. And we've got, we just got this little, check this little guy out, he's come mm. over to see us. Anyway, I think oh, wow. that's it from a uh, nice day at Magnetic Island. Yes. Cheers. See so you from Mag Maggie, Maggie, as they call it. Yeah. <laughs> We've come about an hour and a half south of Townsville now and we are at Burdekin Cane Farm, which is a bit different, a little bit unique. Yeah, it is. So it's a really nice spot between the mango trees, right yes. next to this little reservoir behind us. We've just been given some local bananas. Yeah, yeah. The uh, host gave us some bananas. It's a really chilled out place, which will be a nice couple of days. Yeah, so there's a maximum of 14 vans here, 14 mm. sites here. Yeah. So it's lovely and relaxed and yeah, really peaceful. And we're hoping, cross fingers, mm. that tonight we'll see a sugar cane burn. Yeah, so hopefully tonight and I don't know, maybe tomorrow as well. we'll see don't what know. happens. But yeah, he's going to let us know later today. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have a wander around and check out. It's a working cane farm, so we might have a look around and see how they're doing it. And, uh, yeah, watch, obviously watch. it's their busiest time of year, so yeah. there are only certain areas that we're allowed to view from because yeah. there's a lot of heavy machinery. Oh, we don't want to get in the way. No. But I definitely want to check out how they harvest it and, mm. you know, how they, what they do with all this cane that they're producing. So yeah. It'd be we, really interesting. Yeah, we don't really know too much about the sugar making process. No, exactly. Between cane and your bag of sugar yeah. in the cupboard. So. And this is one of the only, he mentioned this is one of the only, possibly in the world, places that still burn their cane before they harvest, which is really interesting. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the reason why they do that is really because they have an abundance of water here. So they're able to burn it and then uh, use the water to regrow it at the end where in other areas where they grow cane, there's not as much water. So they have to cut it green. Yeah, because they need to keep that moisture in the mm. ground. Yeah, so it's pretty interesting. But yeah, mm. fingers crossed we get to see a burn. But Yeah, I hope so. We've just arrived, so I think we'll just level the van and uh, set up. Hopefully, set up. maybe just relax for a bit and yeah. enjoy the surroundings. Crank up the aircon and maybe get <laughs> or, the chairs out. Yeah, maybe or maybe instead. let's sit outside. Yeah, I mean, it's a good plan. Mm. Yeah, let's get let's get packed up or set up. Go on. We're off to see a burn. It's happening. So it's about six o'clock and uh, yeah, he's gonna take us out to the cane fields and we're gonna check out a burn. Yeah, can't wait. Let's check it out.
So it's the 60-40 mix of diesel and petrol that they use as the accelerants. <laughs> this guy's got no fear. <laughs> This is our second night at uh, Burdekin Cane Farm and it's such a sensational spot. I think this is possibly one of my favorite spots so far. It's just so peaceful and quiet. And you've got a spot right on the lake there. Um, you know, so nice and shady. These are all mango trees here. Uh, the owner came around earlier and gave us some bananas, which was really amazing. Uh, and we did the burn last night, which was really cool. And this is, guess how much, like you'd pay, you pay 30 or 40 dollars for this place 15 dollars per night powered and water amazing um you know it's a shame we've only got two nights here because we could stay a week easily but you know we've got a few things booked so we need to keep moving um but yeah it's just a sensational spot to visit and there's a lot of wildlife around here there's a few dogs there's a few geese around ducks loads of birds um all sorts of chickens roaming around all sorts so it's a really really lovely spot um, and we've been sitting here we've had a bit of a planny day today doing a lot of planning for the next few weeks and uh, we've literally sat out here under the tree with a few drinks a couple of snacks uh, and just been looking out here all day just enjoying the scenery it's just been an amazing really chilled day and uh, we've absolutely loved it i'm just tying off all these mangoes look at all these mangoes look at them all there's hundreds of them. Yeah, they're just a little unripe, but maybe if we were here in a few weeks time, they'd be ready to pick, but that's a shame. But yeah, just such an amazing spot. If you're ever down this way, definitely check this out. There's barely anyone here at the moment. There's another two or three caravans here, so quiet. Uh, and yeah, we absolutely love this spot. Hey chickens! Hey Molly! Hey girl! What are you doing? Hey? Hey? How are you doing? Oh! Oh! oh look at you! Hey? Oh! the leg going! Hey! Good girl! So before we left Townsville, we got an auto electrician in to help us with our issues again. Uh, so he sorted us out. We're all good now, so I'll show you what he did. So he actually he actually replaced our 12 pin on the caravan this time. We didn't get that done last time. Um, so that's nice and new. So hopefully we won't have too many issues. Uh, he was gonna change it to a seven pin and have a separate Anderson plug for the fridge, but 
it was going to cost a bit more and he didn't have the parts either so we didn't really have the time to wait around so we just got the 12 pin replaced uh, and also you replaced the 12 pin on our car again see here there we go so that's nice and new so you saw what it looked like before it was just completely melted so this is the second time we've had to replace the 12 pin on the car so hopefully we don't have to do it again um, yeah, we need to be better at kind of separating the pins on the caravan uh, plug. But uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen again. We're all packed up, back in the car and heading on to the next place. We're heading south now to Bowen and then on to Early Beach. Last episode will be up next week, next Sunday, same time. But we've had a great time in, uh, in Townsville and Burdekin and doing the white water rafting. We've had great fun. Yeah, I really liked Townsville. Um, yeah, there's, the Strand is amazing. Castle yeah. Hill is amazing. It's a nice little place. Um, you know, I don't think I could live there, but really nice place to visit. Yeah, definitely. Not to mention Magnetic Island, which is stunning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's been a busy one. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for joining us. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. And don't forget to like this video and comment. We will see you next week. See you then, guys.